Welcome to SpectralWorks Analyzer Pro tutorial for data processing using quantitation. To work through this tutorial, download the example data from the link in the description. Start by setting your preferences. Using the application button, scroll down to preferences and define the location where you would like to save your method and library files. I've saved the example data to a location on my desktop. Click OK and now open your data files. From the Home tab, click Data File, browse to the location of your data files, select All and Open. Your next step is to set up your processing method. From the Methods tab, start by selecting Calibration Levels. The tutorial data contains the same seven calibration levels for multiple compounds. Therefore, we can define the levels in a single group. Name the group and type in the concentrations of each calibration level. Click OK. And then move on to define your QC levels. Similarly, we can use a single group here. We're going to use a low, mid, and high QC level. Here we need to also define an acceptable percent range for the QC sample to pass. Click OK. You can now enter the parameters for your internal standard. Using the tutorial data, we're going to be using the compound triphenylphosphate. The mass of charge we'll quantify on is 326, which we can select from the appropriate data channel. The expected retention time is 16 minutes 56. We can leave the retention time window at 0.5, the detection type at highest, and the peak detection parameters will be as follows. Click OK and OK again. It's now time to define the calibration components. The first component, DDE, will be quantified using the master charge 176 from the channel 246 to 176. The expected retention time is 14.8 minutes. The retention time window can be left at 0.5, detection type at highest, response type is area, ignore the origin, the calibration curve is linear, the internal standard as we previously defined is TPP, the calibration level group is Cal level group 1, and the QC level group is QC level group 1. The units are nanograms per mil and set your peak detection parameters as we previously did for the internal standard. Click 
click OK and now set your iron ratio confirmation parameters. The master charge we'll use is 211 to 176. The ratio is 20%. The window is 20% and the ratio range is calculated for you. Click OK. Now continue to populate the calibration components table using the information from the tutorial booklet which is available online. Once your calibration components table is complete, it should look like this. Click OK and remember to save your method. With our quantitation method finished, we are now ready to process the sequence. From the Home tab, select Quantitation as the processing type. In your sequence table, you can now fill out the sample types and their appropriate levels. The first seven data files are your calibration samples. Next we have QC samples, and then we have our unknowns. From the data file name, you can see the level of each calibration standard. Fill out the appropriate levels in your sequence. Do the same for your QC samples. and fill down not applicable for each of the unknowns. We can now process our sequence. Give your sequence an appropriate name and make sure it's being saved in an appropriate location. Now click process. Once your sequence has finished processing, you can view the results from the Results tab and by clicking Quant. The default view in the Quant Viewer is Quantitation Overview, however there are a number of views to choose from from the View tab. You can set your display options in Quant Viewer by clicking the Options button and selecting or deselecting any of these parameters. You can also set thresholds for your data. If we update these and click OK, you can see that the data not meeting the thresholds you've set is now displayed in red. This plot shows the status of the component DDE for each of the sample types. The green diamonds represent found calibration components. The green triangles represent found and passed QC components. The red triangle represents a found but failed QC component. And the blue dots represent found components in the unknowns. A component not found in an unknown 
would be represented by a grey dot. You can also review component status in the Quan Viewer table. Here you can quickly see whether your iron ratio confirmation has passed or failed, and similarly, whether your QC samples have passed or failed. Once you have reviewed your results, you can make changes accordingly. To exclude a calibration point, click on the point and then press Exclude Current Calibration Point. The point is now represented by a red triangle. To include the point again, simply click Include Current Calibration Point. When you exclude and include calibration points, your results are automatically updated. Similarly, you can edit your peak integration. To quickly review your peak integration, you can scroll through the sample thumbnails. Click on a thumbnail to review and edit the peak integration. Once you are happy with your results, you can then click Generate a Quantitation Report. There are a number of report formats available to choose from. If you have made changes to your data, upon exiting Analyzer Pro, you will be prompted to save these changes. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and if you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to contact support.